In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to start your very own print on demand store from scratch with the help of AI for 100% free. By the end of this video, you'll be able to create a passive income stream that can generate you hundreds, maybe even thousands of extra dollars per month. I'm gonna be showing you exactly how to find your niche, how to create high quality designs that actually sell, how to upload your designs. And on top of that, I'll even be showing you exactly how to get extra traffic to your store. As I said, all of this can be done for 100% free and you can have your very first print on demand store up and running within the next 24 hours. So for those of you who are new here, Print On Demand is a super beginner friendly business model where you design a product, add it to your online store, and whenever a customer buys it, your chosen Print On Demand company will literally print the design onto your customer's chosen product and send it to them. You won't need to handle any shipping or actually hold the inventory. So how do we start? Firstly, what we'll need to do is pick a niche and choose our product. So what we're gonna do is head over to ChatGPT and ask for 15 Print On Demand niche ideas. All of these are excellent excellent ideas so just go ahead and pick one that you like the sound of. For the purpose of today's video I'm going to be sticking with number four which is the pet lovers niche and from here we're going to narrow it down and find an even more targeted audience. So we're going to ask ChatGPT to give us 10 sub niches related to our chosen niche. I'm going to stick with cat lovers because I love cat and now what we're going to do is niche down one more time and ask ChatGPT for a more specific niche which in my case is for cat. This is going to help us target a super specific audience which is going to lower our competition and increase our our chances of ending up on the first page of search which is exactly what we're aiming for and as you can see now we've gotten very very specific so there's Siamese cat there's cat humor and puns but for today I'm gonna focus on black cat admirers I'm pretty happy with the selection so let's move into the next step now that we have an idea of our niche we're gonna head into product research so we're gonna head back over to Etsy and find a store that is doing well in our chosen niche I typically do this by typing my niche name followed by t-shirts mugs or stickers so for example let's try black cat mug and right here we have a winner which is by the black cat collective shop now if we click on it you can see that this is literally an entire store dedicated to black cats and it also has a winning product on the first page of search on etsy don't worry the boring part is almost done but this is the most essential part to make sure we don't waste our time making a bunch of products that no one's actually gonna buy what we're gonna do is head to allura.io i hope i'm saying it correctly and this is a 100 free tool that's gonna allow you to spy on your competitors so what you're gonna do is sign up for free and create your account. I've already got one so I'm going to just go ahead and log in. So this right here is what your dashboard is going to look like. So what you're going to do is head to product research and then you're going to click on shop analyzer. Here you're going to enter the shop name that you selected earlier and it's going to give you a full analysis of their store. I've entered the Black Cat Collective and as you can see this shop has made a whopping $33,000 in sales. Anyway let's not get distracted. What we're going to do now is head to shop listings and toggle until it shows us the highest monthly sales. This is going to show us the products that are currently doing really well so we know exactly what products we need to recreate what's even better about this site is that you can literally click on the product and get the exact listing including the description and the tags which is really going to help us later on in the video so yeah now that we know exactly what designs are performing we're going to go ahead and save or screenshot the top products from this store that you're going to recreate now we can finally get to the fun part which is actually designing the products so these are the top three designs that i've chosen to recreate and don't worry, before you panic, I'm going to show you exactly how to recreate your designs, even if you're not the most artsy person on earth. And most importantly, it's 100% free. Now, the graphic design tool that we're going to be using today is called Canva. If you've been here for a while, you've definitely heard me raving about this platform because it's so valuable and it's been helping me make so much money over the past couple of years. All you have to do is create an account. So I'm going to add the link in the description below for a one month free trial of Canva Pro, which is what is going to help us with our designs today. And by the way, you don't have to enter any card details for this. And and also, if you don't want to stay on Canva Pro after three days, you will still have access to the free plan, which is slightly more limited, but it's still a really good tool to have anyway. So yeah, once you've created your account, you're going to head over to create a design and click custom size by 4,500 pixels. This is going to help us make sure that our designs don't come out blurry or grainy. And I'm going to take you through how easy it is to design just one of the products. So I'm going to choose the little tote bag so I can show you exactly how I would recreate this on Canva. Like I said, we're going to be recreating the design. So it means that we're going to have to find a new pun to put on the tote bag for this case. So we're going to head to ChatGPT and we're going to ask for a bunch of cat puns. So I've chosen number four where it's I'm feline good today. Thanks for asking. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that quote and we're gonna head to Canva. Now we have our blank template. We're gonna go ahead and select a font that we like so we can turn it into the text like we've seen on the tote bag. So I like the look of this one, which is actually a pre-made one. So we're gonna just go ahead and zoom in. 
remove the extra element and we're gonna paste the quote from ChatGPT. I'm gonna add the little cat element and now we can add in some hearts. I decided I wanted to change the font because I wasn't really liking the old one. But yeah, this is a very similar design without it being the exact same as the one that we saw from the previous store. Now what we're gonna do is share, download, and then on file type, we're gonna click SVG. This is the best option for all of your Etsy designs. So make sure you always save it in this format. And we're gonna click on transparent background. Now we can go ahead and download it. Now we can move into setting up our store and uploading our designs. Now trust me, it's a lot less hassle than it sounds. So you're gonna head over to printify.com and this platform right here is where you're gonna be uploading all of your designs. And it's gonna be producing and shipping the products out to your customers whenever they get notified of a purchase. This company literally does everything for you. When you sign up, it will give you the option of connecting an Etsy store so go ahead and do that if you don't have one already you can quickly sign up it's super easy and it shouldn't take you more than five minutes and from here you'll be able to select a print provider which in simple terms is the manufacturer that's going to be printing your item just so you don't get confused because print for itself is just the middleman that provides the platform that connects you to your manufacturers so to choose a good print provider be sure to opt for those that are over 9.5 rating i 100 recommend monster digital because they offer pretty fast shipping to my customers and the quality has never been bad so now that we're prepped and ready to go we will select our product type and create a brand new design here you can go ahead and add your image and adjust the proportions and once we're happy we can go ahead and publish it to our etsy store for the pricing you want to be a little bit cheaper than your competitors so even if it's like 50 cents to a dollar less it's still a good enough incentive to get people to want to buy with you instead of the competitors even if they have a lot more reviews now this part is where i said that chat gpt is going to be helping us out for the title in the descriptions we literally just go on chat gpt and we'll ask it to reword the competitors listing so we're going to head over to allura.io and copy the title and the description and ask ChatGPT to rewrite it for us. And the prompt that I like to use is rewrite this Etsy title and description and make it SEO optimized. And then I'll go ahead and paste the title and description. And as you can see, it's giving me a brand new title and a description that's full of keywords that's going to help us rank much higher in the search. Now you can go ahead and press hide listing so you can finish working on it. Etsy and Printify being integrated makes this upload process very fast because there's a lot of sections that are already done for you. A top tip is to be sure to select your print provider so people know exactly who it is and the final step for this before we go live is to quickly create our mock-up so the pre-made photos that printify has given us are not going to cut it they're very boring and they're not eye-catching so you're going to head to canva open a new page and now what we're going to do is upload files and import that exact same image but with a transparent background now you can see we have a whole bunch of options of how we want to present our design this right here is a mock-up for a tote bag so that's what we're going to be using now as you can see we have an entire mock-up designed for our tote bag which we can then go back and use for our etsy now we have everything we need and we can finally publish the listing now we can stop here and let etsy's organic traffic do its thing but to make sure we make money with our products what we're going to do is head over to pinterest now this is a huge photo based platform where people go for inspiration so what we're going to do is add our mock-ups to pinterest and add our etsy link this right here is an example of mine so i've had over 447 clicks to a t-shirt that i designed over six months ago and keep in mind that even if only 10 percent of these people actually bought my t-shirt for ten dollars that means that i would have made four hundred dollars from pinterest alone this is by far one of the easiest traffic methods that a lot of etsy sellers use to boost their sales and that is all from me guys i hope you've enjoyed this video let me know down in the comments if you have any questions or video requests best of luck and i will catch you guys in the next one